Hey, what's up beautiful people? Um, today we're gonna be doing a little plan with me for the upcoming week of March 7th to the 20th. Um, today's printable will be, or this week's printable will be from Plan Ahead print Printables. She's on Etsy and she also has her Instagram and Facebook page, so, page, so you can go check them out. Um, I really like this kit, it's, it's cutesy. Um, not necessarily my colors, my favorite colors of them all, but it's cute. It's a nice spring theme, um, theme, which is nice. So I usually start with the date headers. Um, I like to place them. I like them to fit in the size of the box, but sometimes I'm not very methodical in that. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. I'm not. Um, so that's why you see I sometimes tweak them and maybe it doesn't look perfect perfect I might go back and fix it or I might just leave it like that and it won't bother me um, so yeah and then usually I fill out the the date by hand um, because doing it by text I don't know <laughs> I, it, I feel like it might be a little bit more time consuming and I just do it on pen which will you, you'll see at the end um, then I usually go with my my bottom washi um, just to set the mood here you see that I'm using um, the take a screenshot and then copying it to this planner because these are printable stickers so they're not designed for for good nose good nose apps they come in a PDF and PNG forms and uh, and the cut files because they're for for cutting on a cry cut or silhouette machine so um that's why you see i copy paste paste them and then i do the screenshot of them to to get the size correct and um it's just the way it works for me i i'm probably sure there's an easier method um to this but so far this is what works for me and and i'm okay with it <laughs> uh there you see me trying to to move it around and then I realized that I can that I have to just stick to my screenshotting of it so that's what I'm doing and then I decide here to use these as, as little headers on on top of each box um, to decorate it a little more this kit doesn't come with a lot of a lot of icons or a lot of things it's it's on the minimal side but it's fine you know you work with what you have and there is a lot for me to work with so um, that's what you see me doing and taking advantage of all these washi strips that it comes with. Um, this, it's, I believe it is designed for an Erin Condren weekly planner, um, but she has a lot more stickers and a lot. They're very pretty, so you could go check her, her shop out. So for this week, I don't have a lot of stuff um, happening, just the usual, a few reminders to, to make sure that I, I do these things. Um, but not a lot going on just the usual working and just the reminders to that I have class for my masters and um, for those of you who don't know I'm doing a master's in business in health business administration and um, I have classes twice a week online and I just put a reminder and I also put the reminders to do the homework um, they're usually all due on on Sunday, so I don't really put like like those due dates because I know they're due on Sunday. I won't forget that. I just make sure I, I make sure I study or I do my homework um, during the days that I post them. Um, sometimes they're easy to do. Sometimes they're harder. Sometimes they're group homework, so you know they don't really depend just on me. So I have to consider my other um, classmates and their schedule but we make it work it's nothing complicated or at all so um those are the benefits of doing everything through through zoom and that we're all adults you know we all we all have works and families and you know we just make it work how however we however we can so basically what i just do is is just putting all the labels of the things i know that i have to 
jot down and then I'll just add the text later on because it's so much easier and so you see me putting these little flags to remind myself I think it was for the homework part um, to remember that I had to do the, the homework and then these bow strips I think is to remind myself to to do the upload and the editing of, the, of this video and to remind myself I think to post on Instagram so that's what I think I'm doing now yeah I usually do a voiceover of my videos because I, I don't I don't have the time to do the whole video and um, with my voice like the one time I'm filming because I usually have to I film when my daughters are home because you know that's just gonna be chaotic so I do the voiceovers when they're also not home and I have a chance after work um, to do them so it's a lot easier for me so I'm sorry for those of you who don't who don't like that um, but that's the way I gotta do it So you see me now putting the, the text over the labels and flags that I already had put out there. So it would be just so much easier to, to just um, use them. I'm using the elements tool. Um, I decided to, to put my text in the elements so I wouldn't have to be scrolling back to my, um, my previous week and copying and pasting there. So if I have it in the elements, since I'm going to practically be using those and probably the same text I might switch around the text depending on the kids and my mood and my time of course so um, that was a lot easier for me to just paste them on the elements app the elements on good note it's on the header on top the one with the star and the circle around it that's called elements on good notes app and then there it's just used for for you for stickers to be a lot available it comes with a few stickers already there but you could also add and categorize your stickers as well so it could be a lot easier for you the ones that you use the most or, or frequently use um, to be at a an easy to access place where you don't have to be switching around pages or 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 looking for in different areas of your of your your storage iPad um, so I was there checking out that they, she had very few icons and I was looking for one for laundry and for cleaning and she didn't have one for cleaning so I used the laundry one um, that's me cropping it in the freehand version I usually do the rectangle cropping and then when there's small circular icons I usually go for freehand and it's a lot easier to, to crop I also do this type of uh, pasting and copying and cropping because uh, I have a white black ground planner so it's a lot easier for for you to copy and paste and have you know a little bit of the border that you don't have to be so strict with the white border around it but if you have a black planner you definitely cannot do that you're gonna have to um, download um, the printables or the sticker kits in a in a PNG way that way you have a transparent black background and it could be a lot easier to paste So here I'm showing you the final result of my planner And I hope you really like it for for this week and I might inspire you a little bit uh, More to actually go through, you know, go And change to a digital version and it's a lot easier It's a, so much easier and so much fun to use the sticker kits at at the way you want to use it without feeling remorse that you use that sticker or you know that you cut it in half or that you just wanted a certain section of the sticker so thank you for watching and I, i'll see you next week bye, bye.